Hello, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. This is, uh, well, hmm, welcome, Aquarius. Well, this is going to be a reading for the next six months. Now, bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. So the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You dig what I'm saying? All right. Also, um, spirit is not gender specific. Um, I may ret refer to genitalia. I don't know. But just understand that we are referring to a energetic signature and not how you pee. Okay. All right. So we've got the next six months coming up. Let's check this out, shall we? First up, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon and confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Okay. All right. You are good enough. The energy is gaining momentum and confidence is your key to success. You hear that, Aquarius? You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. According to Well Plus Good, the full moon in Virgo presents an opportunity for manifestation through sudden shifts. Forming a harmonious aspect with Uranus and Taurus, the connection brings visions and ideas into practical reality through the energy of Earth. Thank you very much, Google. Full moon in Virgo. All right. The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon and confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. You have to believe. You got to believe that you are good enough. Am I speaking to myself right now? So you've got the hermit. Four of cups. And the page of wands, four of cups, the page of wands and the hermit. What you, you, uh, yeah, you're good enough. I acquire, I, perfection. While it seems like it should be the goal, the pursuit of perfection is harming can harm you because you could get real you get you could really feel you could really feel and thoroughly internalize what you're missing what you have yet to learn um, how to make a seal air and water tight like you have what you need. Right? You you are good enough. You are good enough. Uh, with the energy gaining momentum, we have the King of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and Six of Pentacles. You are dead serious, dead serious about your foundation. I mean, dead serious. Like you, you, which is why there's this, it's easier to focus on what you have left to do. It's easier to focus on what you're missing than it is to recognize just how far you've come. It's easier to focus on what you have yet to do 
than it is to focus on how far you've come. But make no mistake, you've come a long way. And this foundation that you've laid is solid. It's, it's better to be long and bright than swift and then have to do it again. And then you've got the two of pentacles, the king of wands, and the five of cups. Yeah, yeah, it's confidence is the key to your success. You got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. Come on, know when to hold them and when to fold them. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. You better count your money. Been sitting at the table, won't be time enough for counting. When the demon's done, stop it. I'm just, you know what? All right. So, June is about taking stock on how much you have left to do. July is g focusing on what you have completed. August is knowing when to prune and what to prune. September, I've got the King of Cups, Justice, and the Nine of Wands. It's a lot of King energy in here, man. You got, got three out of four so far. Yep, Pentacles, Wands, and cups okay all right so september oh this is when shit gets real like it gets really real because these are the choices that you made but this these are the choices that divine is handing down these are the decisions that divine is handing down Yeah, that's good. That's really good. October, we've got the Empress, the Moon, and the Queen of Swords. Wow, you are. Yeah, well, that would make sense with this. But okay, so the Queen of Swords is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. With the Moon, this talks about like, Hidden information or knowing just enough to move forward and the Empress is everything that I have I already need everything that I need I already have everything that I have I already need like under yeah it's that inner knowing of your abundance the confidence knowing that that confidence is within you or at least becoming acquainted with it and november is the king of wands the sun and the three of pentacles you are moving in the right direction let me say that one more time you are moving in the right direction you have to believe it not only do you have to believe it, you also have to know it. But with what I'm looking at here in this spread, this is very positive. Very positive. And 
You have the King of Wands, again, the Sun, and the Three of Pentacles. You are aware. Like your passion is on full throttle. And it's growing. But it's not just growing like raw passion. Like you're starting, you'll, you'll, you'll see evidence of your hard work by by November and it's going to be like clear evidence as long as you as long as you continue on this course but you're you're in good shape Aquarius like really good shape yeah so thank you for spending some time with me today and until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. I am Aditi and this is Tarot with Lodestone Productions. We'll see you next time. Bye.